Hello, I'm Mark Fox and welcome to the Sly's Fox video newsletter. In my upcoming book called Da Vinci and the 40 Answers, we talk about how you can solve any problem through the power of Triz. One of the 40 lenses or answers is called the other way around, how to reverse it or do it differently. And I want to show you a few examples from the book. One way to do this is make movable parts or the external environment fixed and fix parts movable. For example, a moving sidewalk with people standing still. You can also turn the object or the process upside down, like turning an assembly upside down to insert parts. There are lots of examples of this principle. If you lived in a community inundated with fast food restaurants, a smart business plan might be to open up a slow food restaurant to differentiate yourself from the competition. Do the opposite of what everyone else is doing you'll stand out from the crowd. You could also benchmark yourself against the worst rather than the best in your field. Compare your business to the worst company in the industry and discover all the ways not to do things so that you don't end up doing them. Again, do the opposite. Kerry Mullis won the 1993 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his development of the Polymerized Chain Reaction, or PCR. PCR is a cornerstone of biochemistry and molecular biology because the technology allows for the amplification of DNA sequences. A great deal of Kerry's work revolves around the principle of doing things the other way around. While everyone else in the world was trying to find the figurative needle in the haystack and chemically find and hold DNA, Carey decided to let the DNA replicate itself instead. Rather than looking for the needle in the haystack, Carey let the needle reproduce itself billions and billions of times so the DNA was easier to find and capture. By doing things the other way around, Dr. Mullis received the highest honors in his field. A few more quick examples. How about if you start writing your novel in the middle of the story? What about clock faces where the numbers go backwards, counterclockwise? Or how about a high heel woman's shoe where the heel is horizontal off the front of the shoe instead of vertical off the heel? My friend Peter Nevelin recently applied this lens or answer other way around to an interesting experiment. Instead of staying on the side of the road begging for money, he thought, what if I gave money away? What would happen? All right, let's go. He didn't want any either. This lady's got a knife. Sure? You could use it to help somebody. She doesn't want any. This lady doesn't want any either. No, don't give me any free money. It's got to be. There's got to be a catch. This is crazy. Why? Well, because people stand out here on the corner and they're always begging for money. And I figured, what would happen if somebody stood on the corner and actually did something that people would, would make them feel nice, you know? <laughs> you guys... A couple dollars, a couple dollars, three, there's no strings. I think I've given away a total of two dollars. Free, free money? You guys, you want some free money? She's, she won't even look at me. I'm not even a person. I wonder if it's easier to get money than it is to give money away. No, I'm not giving, uh, okay. Hey, I got some food. Check it out. I try to give away stuff, people give me stuff instead. I like her green, I'm gonna keep it. Is that good? You want more? When the light turns green, we'll wait. We'll see what happens. Oh, it turned green. Have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> that was awesome. Bye. Now you might think all this playing around wouldn't lead to anything practical, but after Peter got thousands, thousands of downloads on YouTube in the first couple days of this video, it gave him a great business idea. He wants to go shoot a dozen of them, a series of them, where he gives money away at festivals or pays for somebody's groceries or actually compares and sees the difference between different age groups. And so he's looking for a sponsor to help him with that. Um, I think this is a fantastic opportunity for a business to um, get a whole lot of impressions for very little money. Um, if you're interested in this idea, I've included a proposal link uh, in this newsletter. You can read it if you like to. Anyway, uh, once again, here we are applying the power of Triz. Thank you again for joining me on the Slides of Fox video newsletter. Till next time, take care.